What is going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Logan if you don't know me already and in today's video I'm going to be showing you all the new upgrades that came along with the 2021 Tesla Model 3 and comparing it to the 2019 Tesla Model 3. Right off the bat this is already going to be a great comparison video because I bought the white on white version and then this one is the black on black version. Now this 2019 is actually the first Tesla that I ever drove. I've spent a lot of time in this car and driving this car is what made me fall in love with Teslas in the first place which led me to buying the 2021 model. So I went ahead and wrote a list of all the upgrades that came with the 2021 that the 2019 was lacking. So the first thing on the list is the chrome delete. Before the 2021 refresh came out, all Teslas came with chrome trim. So as you can see on the 2019 model, all of the trim is all chrome. The finish around these cameras are chrome as well. The mirrors are chrome and the door handles are chrome. Now before I knew that they were going to do this, I was actually just going to get it and then wrap it either carbon fiber or a satin black. I had no idea that they were actually going to do the upgrades to the 2021. It just so happens that I was going to wrap a satin black and then mine actually came satin black. And on the 2021, all of the trim is matte black or I think it's actually satin black, but it looks so much better to me. All the door handles all the, uh, what is this? The thing that holds the mirrors is all satin black and it just looks so much better. It doesn't show fingerprints half as much as the Chrome does. You guys, let me know in the comments if I should do it or not, but I'm actually thinking about wrapping all of my logos. I say all, both of my logos, uh, the same satin black as the trim and then possibly wrapping these mirrors satin black too. That way it'll all look the same. I think that's a great idea. It should look really good, but let me know in the comments if you think I should do it or not. And then number two on the list, the 2021 refresh also fixed the leaky trunk situation. So before, anytime water would fall onto the car and you'd lift up the trunk, water would just leak into the trunk. A huge issue they've had with the Model 3 since they came out is whenever this gets wet, water would fall down. And then instead of this little guard here catching it, it would just basically fall right into the trunk. They've tried to fix this before and it definitely has gotten better, but it's still not perfect and water still was leaking in. Let me just put this pan Right here so i don't get the whole trunk dirty and i'm just gonna dump a bottle of water on the roof and then watch the water just basically fall right into the trunk so here is with the 2019 just a bottle of water okay that is way worse than i thought it was actually i just made a huge mess point is water just falls right into that and falls in your trunk the reason this is a bad idea but the reason it's such a big deal is because when it rains, this trunk is shut. And whenever you go to lift your trunk, all the water dumps off of the trunk, lands on the window or the glass, and then slides right inside of whatever you have here is all going to get wet. And then with the 2021 model, they supposedly fixed this, but I haven't actually done it. So I hope I don't just soak my trunk and look like an idiot, but I guess here goes nothing. All right, 2021 model. Maybe I'm just dumping it too fast. Okay, I watched like three videos of people doing this and it worked for like every single video. So I don't know if mine's just like, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> okay, maybe mine's just like defunctional or whatever. Don't, just ignore my, ignore my experience on this. I don't know. I'm just going to not say anything and skip past this one. This is kind of annoying. I just dumped water all in my trunk, like thinking I was trying to be all savage and it didn't work. Okay, well, that sucks. And number three on the list, they finally added a trunk button. So before you just had to manually lift up the trunk and manually close it. And there was no way to do that from inside the car. Now with the refresh, there's a button that you can actually hit inside of the car and outside of the car. That way you don't have to actually reach up and manually pull the trunk down. With the 2019 model, the only way to open up the trunk is just to hit this button, which unlocks it, but then you still have to pick it up and lift it all the way up, which is not that big of a deal, except you can't shut it from inside the car, which to me is like a huge, you spend this much money on your car and you at least want to have a button that you can hit that shuts the trunk. Also, if you have a black like this one that gets super dirty so fast because of the black color, whenever you go to shut it, when you go to pull this down, you pull it down to about here and then you have to touch this part to shut it, which gets fingerprints all over the black paint because black is just like the hardest color to keep clean. Back of my trunk is still soaking wet, but whatever. But I love that they finally added in the 2021 is this button. I even said like, as I was about to order, I was like, man, it's so dumb that you can spend this much money on a car and it not have a button. Oh, can you see me? 
It's so dumb that you can spend this much money on a car and it not have a button for you to shut the trunk. It's the most dumbest, like ridiculous thing ever. But the reason I love it so much is because inside the car, you can just hit open and the trunk will start to open and then just hit close and the trunk starts to close. Yeah, super unnecessary. You don't need to have it. But again, I feel like any car over $50,000 should always have a button like it's 2021 you shouldn't be reaching up and grabbing your trunk maybe that's just me maybe i'm just like being over dramatic but stuff like that is actually super important to me and then number four on the list they finally fixed the center console before they all had this p the black piano finish and now they upgrade it to a nice matte finish with like a leather surroundings it looks so much better than it did before in the 2019 model so many people complained about the center console in the 2019 because it's this black piano finish and even though it may look shiny right now because it was just cleaned anytime you touch it to open it fingerprints just get all over this like watch it doesn't look like much but this is one of the most irritating things and so many tesla owners were complaining about it that they would actually just buy a wrap like a matte finish wrap and they would actually just wrap all of these pieces individually that way it didn't leave the fingerprints and it just looked a lot cleaner it wasn't this like black piano finish and in the 2021 model you get this really nice slick dry to the touch center console that you just push to slide open and whenever you want to close it just tap it and then it closes it's also wrapped with this nice vegan leather that's super dry to the touch it's not like normal leather i i love fake leather more than normal leather because it doesn't get wet number five on the list they finally added wireless charging so before no matter what you always had to plug your phone in to the car you could buy an aftermarket wireless charger but it was like 125 dollars. but now that's just included in the car you don't have to pay for it it's already installed and it's already finished in the 2019 the way you charge your phone is just to lift this part up and then there's a phone charger right here that you can connect your phone to. You can buy a wireless charging square to put in here, but I believe it's about $125 from the Tesla website. And with the 2021 model, you get this nice wireless charging pad that fits your phone perfectly. You just sit your phone on it, and then it starts charging. So much more convenient than having to plug your phone in, and you didn't have to spend $125 to get it installed. It came with the car. Also, I'll put a picture right up here so you can actually see what it looks like, but the one that you can buy isn't actually like this nice carpet, uh, velvety feel. I don't even really know what it's made of, but it's more of like a plastic, and it doesn't... What's the word? It doesn't feel as good on your phone. It, it seems like it would almost scratch your phone, but this is a lot better than what you can buy from the Tesla website. The steering wheel in the 2019 kind of just feels like a normal car. Like it's just that, uh, I guess you'd say cheap leather feel. If you look at it, you can kind of see how shiny it is. Like it doesn't, it doesn't really feel good. It's just a normal, kind of feels like any other normal, like I'd say a cheap like Kia. And the 2021, you get this really nice dry to the touch steering wheel. I don't, again, I don't know what either steering wheel is made of, but it just feels so much better on your hands. It's little things like how a steering wheel feels that makes a car like feel 10 times better when you're driving it. And I swear it's the smallest little improvement, but it makes such a big deal when you actually drive the car. And then number seven is the sun visors. Before they had this clamp that would always break and people complain about it all the time. Now there's just a magnet, so there's no clamp that can break. All you do is just stick it up there and the magnet just makes it stay. The sun visors in the 2019 have this clip. Just like any other car, you just pull this out. But the problem with this is so many people were complaining that this little clip was breaking. This one seems to be holding up just fine, but that was a huge complaint with the 2019s. And the 2021 model just has this magnet. So you just pull this down and this pop it down. And all it is is a magnet. Nothing there could possibly break. It just, I didn't mean to do that. It just pops right in. So much nicer than the one before. And then number eight is the button that opens up all the doors to get out of the car. Now this didn't bother me a lot, but a lot of people were complaining that in the 2019s or anything below 2021, to open up the door, these are the buttons. To open up the door, you just press this in and then the door opens. But a lot of people who've never been in a Tesla are looking for a traditional handle and they hit all the uh, window locks or whatever it is and can't figure out how to get outside of the car. And there's no indicator kind of telling you what this button does. Everyone just assumes it's maybe to roll down the window or something. Then in the 2021, you can actually see that it's a car with the driver door open, kind of indicating that that's exactly what the button does. So just like the 2019, tap it and then it opens the door. 
Now I know a lot of people were actually buying the stickers. So before like how this didn't have like a symbol on it before, they would actually just buy the stickers because so many people would get in their car and not know how to open up the door that they actually just put this like as a sticker. But I guess Tesla saw them doing that and decided, you know what, let's go ahead and just put it in our cars. That way it's already there. And number nine is the wheels, or I guess you'd technically say hubcaps because they're not really wheels, but the aerodynamic hubcap wheel things that you can actually just pull off of the car. They finally refreshed those so that they look a little bit more modern in the 2021 refresh model. Now the rims on the 2019 versus 2020 aren't a huge difference when i say rims i mean these hubcaps you can actually just take off there's not a huge difference but the difference is that on the 2021 this is actually slimmer so you see more of this and kind of just looks more modern and squared off where this has more of a curve to the wheels and then the 2021s kind of just, like I said, have a more modern feel. Like, I can't explain it. I'm, I'm actually just going to take both off and put them on the ground. That way you guys can see an actual side-by-side -side comparison. Because it doesn't look like it's that big of a deal, but it actually gives the car, or I guess the whole wheel, a different look. And then number 10 is the double-pane glass that they added to prevent more road noise. Now, the glass in the 2019 is just one single pane of glass. And then the 2021 model has these double-pane glass. There's two panes of glass with that... Uh, some sort of adhesive there in the middle. This is supposed to eliminate road noise and make for a quiet ride inside the cabin. Although I'm not really sure how much that actually works. A lot of people also said that this glass was supposed to be bulletproof. I don't know who in the world, like where that came from, but this glass is definitely not bulletproof. I don't even know if the Cybertruck is actually bulletproof. Oh my fucking God. Well, Another thing I forgot to mention is in the 2021, they went, they switched from normal leather to a vegan leather, which basically just means it's fake leather, but it has a completely different feel. So these seats, like, I don't know how to explain it. They feel like marshmallows. Like they're the softest, squishiest seats I've ever sat in. Like besides the fact that they're white and they look awesome, every single time somebody gets into my car, the first thing they say is, holy crap, these seats are like the most comfortable seats I've ever been in. And it's true. Like... Seriously, I love these seats like more than anything else in the car almost. The 2019 with the leather seats, they still like, they feel amazing, but I don't know what it is about like vegan leather or fake leather, whatever you want to call it. I say vegan leather because that's what Tesla calls it, but call it whatever you want. I'll put a clip here. I don't know if you guys saw, I posted a TikTok of my, I gave my dad a ride in the Tesla and the first thing he said was like, he asked what kind of leather it was and I said it was vegan leather and he said some, like he didn't understand like what vegan leather was or something and whatever. I'll put the clip here, but I put this on TikTok and it like got a bunch of views. So it was so funny. Are these leather seats? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's vegan. Leather, vinyl, it's vegan. Vinyl, it's vegan leather. Oh. It's what leather? Vegan. <laughs> you know, he told me these were vegan leather seats. Do you know what vegan leather is? Yeah, leather is not made from an actual cow. No, I, I was thinking like, the cow that ate all oh. the grass. Oh, oh. So, the cow, so the cow never ate any meat its whole life? Oh, you talking about the leather stuff? Yeah. Also, subtle plug, if you're not following me on Instagram and TikTok, I'll put both links down below. Make sure to follow me on there as well. But the 2019 just doesn't have, it has more of like a wet leather feel. Like, I can't explain it. You have to, you have to feel both to understand what I'm talking about. But the 2021, the quality of it is superior to 2019. It just feels and looks so much better. Like I said, it's the tiniest little improvements that make such a big difference with these cars. I think Tesla really paid attention to what people were complaining about, about the Model 3s. And in 2021, completely changed changed everything and fixed all those complaints. They look like these little minor changes, but they make the car seem so much better because everything you loved about it is still there, but everything you didn't like is now fixed. So anyways, those are the 10, I think I probably gave you 11 changes with the 2021 refresh model. Please give this video a like. If you like these types of videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. If you guys want to see a comparison to the white seats versus the black seats, there's a lot of pros to having white seats, but there's also a lot of cons and then same with the black seats. If you guys want to see a video on that, be sure to leave it in the comments below. Also, let me know what type of video you want to see next. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.